Uh, how big of a deal are the negative effects of NSAIDs? I understand they can blunt hypertrophy, but to what degree? Is the occasional mid-hangover ibuprofen really killing my gains? And for this one, I, I, I kind of think that the negative impact of NSAIDs on strength and hypertrophy, I, I think that's largely been overblown. Um, most of the studies that are investigating that. So, so just one general thing about research is that once a body of literature is developed pretty well, then you start getting more nuanced studies that are kind of trying to paint in the details. So for example, maybe a dose response type study, but to justify something like that, generally the early studies in a body of literature are, are, slightly extreme to verify that a potential effect exists that warrants looking into further. So in the case of the NSAID literature, this is something that gets talked about a lot, but there's there's not actually a ton of studies on this. Uh, and, and the studies that are out there do tend to show that uh, using NSAIDs during resistance training does blunt hypertrophy outcomes. Uh, and some of the effects... Um, are, are pretty notable. So it might reduce hypertrophy by anywhere from one third to two thirds of what you could otherwise expect without NSAIDs. Um, so that, that seems fairly notable. But the thing to keep in mind is the dosages used in those studies for the NSAIDs are quite high. Um, and generally, they're either being used every training day or every day. So, you know, it, it, I think people hear that and they say like they compartmentalize that as like oh NSAIDs are bad I have a headache but I can't take an ibuprofen because that's going to kill my gains that's not what's being studied it's looking at like chronic long-term use of quite high doses of NSAIDs so you know if you need to take some NSAIDs just on a one-off basis because you know you, you got a joint ache you got a headache you have a hangover like that's I assume that's fine. And most importantly, that hasn't been researched. Um, so, you know, the, the stuff that's out there shows that like, ah, there's there's maybe a notable negative effect if you're using a lot of this stuff very consistently, uh, chronically. But I think that lower doses, probably not a huge deal. Um, and I think that occasional uses, also probably not a huge deal. Um, but the like that's just not what the research is looking at to this point um one thing to note as well is i think that it's largely reflective of like a hormetic response so hormesis is basically the idea that for a particular input uh the the input itself might exist on a bell curve and there is an optimal level of whatever that input is for the output that you're interested in and it's it's most frequently Hormesis is most most generally comes up when you're talking about uh, like stress or um, like like physiological stressors. So in in this case, we're talking about inflammation, and so some degree of post exercise inflammation is beneficial for the muscle remodeling and hypertrophy response. Um, and so if you really really blunt that with high doses of NSAIDs, now you're kind of to one side of the hormetic curve, and you don't get the, the magnitude of outcome you're interested in. If inflammation, on the other hand, is way too high, that can also have negative effects. So there's been either one or two studies looking at NSAID usage in elderly people, uh, or not elderly, but older people doing resistance training. And in at least one of those studies, they found that NSAIDs, when paired with resistance training, actually improved hypertrophy outcomes. So Older people tend to have higher baseline levels of inflammation, and it it could be that they're to the other side of that hormetic curve. Maybe inflammation is too high, and using some NSAIDs to bring that down actually has a beneficial effect. So, you know, I, I think that ultimately that's sort of the relationship you're dealing with. So there's a range of inflammation that could be occurring, and you need some amount of it, but not none of it, and not to the most of it. So I think if you're using low doses of NSAIDs to knock down some sort of inflammatory response a little bit, you're probably just shifting yourself along that hormetic curve very slightly. It's probably not going to have that much of an effect. 
especially if it's only used intermittently. That is that is my assumption. I, I think most people who aren't just using high doses of NSAIDs every day probably just don't even need to worry about it. Um, but again, th this body of literature is relatively young and there haven't been studies to kind of flesh out all of those details, dose response work, et cetera. So um, it, it, at this point, we don't know for sure, but but that is my supposition. Like most most people probably don't need to worry about it. The studies in older adults, do you happen to know if they were uh, untrained at the time of the study? I think they were. Because, you know, like we talked about, we do expect, you know, systemic inflammation to go up with age, regular engage, you know, regularly engaging in exercise and physical activity can attenuate that age related increase in inflammation, but is unlikely to blunt it fully. So that's an important thing to keep in mind. Yes.